Hello everyone and uh, welcome to a new little fly tying film and uh, the mic here has to be seen in the picture <laughs> that's better you can see me that's most important is you let you see what's going on here so I'll just leave the mic there and hope something is savable fucking share there we are Today I thought that I would tie a very simple fly um, uh, some, some sort of a green butt with a little greenish and black and here is uh, medium uh, fits tubing in black and the uh, extra small in black which I tie together as we always do and with hard turns and I'm going to leave it here because we're going to have a a green little butt on this fly and we will use Greenland the green for the little butt so we start with that There it is, the green butt, and just make it a little more flashy. We will take some Greenland green, uh, natural, uh, natural, the regular dubbing from Fredin Flies. And we will tie in a little bit around in front of the green butt like this not too much back like that and take the brush and just brush a few strands this there we have a little green butt on our green butt fly and for ribbing I will use gaudy green which is the darker green if I can find it where it starts And as a body, we will use charcoal black. Like this. And now we will cover the thread with the black body. First turn here. Like that. And just work our way forward as always to somewhere here. A few turns, fold it back, and a few more turns. Cut away the waist. And for dubbing, I thought that we would use charcoal black regular dubbing with a few strands of glitz gaudy green just to make this fly a little more greenish this is the fly that I was thinking I would try out in uh, River Gaula 
and uh, here we just blend this by pulling it apart and putting it together until we are satisfied with the mix then <clears throat> we just start to dub it on building a nice heavy front make sure to go back over the place where they tied in the SSS braid most of the things on this fly is pretty discreet except for the butt and I will use uh, a green turbo cone so that will also be a little more visible point of the fly like this and I'll tie a few wraps to stop it and now to the gaudy green ribbing which would start to wind on on the body here and then pull it down pretty hard into the dubby lock it in fold it back and lock it in with a few more turns like that this will be durable and I hope that the salmon will like this fly. Now we brush out the fibers from the gaudy green glitz and the charcoal black. Like that. I think it looks pretty good. Cut off the longest one so they don't tangle in the hook when we fish it because that is annoying. The stuff gets tangled up like this. And now we will take the first wing, which is a black soft wing, which I will taper a bit before I tie it in by pulling in the middle and we start with a loose turn pull it down one two three four five I think it looks looks quite good. So let's go with that. Look, so it ended up wide and in the middle. Now we will take just a few strands of gaudy green angel hair. And put it on wide in one turn fold it over like that lock it in and we cut these off a little bit longer and the first wing because you know I like to be to see the 
strands under the next wing here which will be a little longer <coughs> black wing take away a few of the stiffer longer strands here and I will taper this one a bit too like that now we have a few strands like this and we tie it in a good turn pull down one two three four five spread it a little bit a few of them were a little too long but it has a nice tapering I think we have to pull down a little bit on this side like that looks good I think it looks good cut away the waste and now we will put on two jungle cocks Here they are. Take out two that I think is the right size and length. I ruined one, which is very painful because you know how easy it is to get jungle cock these days. And I curve it a little bit over my fingernail. So it gets a little bend. And tie it in on my side. That looks really good. Let's hope we can do the same on the first try on the other side. A little shorter, like that. Looks pretty good. Let's leave them there and just cut off the stems. And now we will use a little glue before we put on the black soft tackle. Finish off this fly. Like that. To fix fixate the wings looks pretty good from underneath too the green little butt this is a very simple fly to tie and now I want to find my black hackle here it is I'm gonna use this cut off make a little triangle and tie it in on my side and 
like that. Check so don't ruin the jungle cocks. They sit very well. And now I will use the Fredin Flies little hackle plier and try to make this hackle look nice in front of the wings and the jungle cock I tied in first turn as close to the wing as possible and then we work our way slowly forward That's enough. I take away the waste on my side. Lock the feather in. One, two, three, four, five. And then I take my little comb and I comb out the hackle to see that it's evenly spread around the whole fly. Brush through the wing. It looks pretty good. As I said, it's a very simple fly. Now we will take a extra small shortchers because the fly ended up to be quite big. I turn it so I get it down on the uh, extra small tubing and now we will glue the thread Hold back the hackle. Like that. And now I will take my Bauer Pike tube as always. And push down the cone head. Pretty hard. Like that. Looks good. And the fly is almost done. Check the spread. It's pretty good. This will be pretty translucent black fly but it's made for daytime fishing bad weather fishing and uh, as I said it's very simple to tie leave a few millimeters melt it down slowly and then I take my, uh, it's a bit messy on the table right now to be honest, so I'll just put
put this on the needle the other way. Get a good hole. Here is a very simple version of a green butt, if you can call it that. We fished a lot with these flies in the 90s. And uh, they worked really well back then. And I think that they will work really well now also. So here it is. The green butt. Simple, very simple tie. I did not use so much black hair, so it's quite translucent. So, thank you guys for watching, and uh, soon there will be one more fly. I wonder what that would be, but thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.